In this video, I'm going to demonstrate how to get signatures when there's a couple, coupled return. So I've got the return here for eSigner document, and they have an email address. And I've now got a spouse on this return, and they have a different email address. So let's look how this will work. If I go to the E signature collect signatures, if we look here, I've got both spouses' emails here. And what this setup by default here is, is it'll send all the documents to both spouses. If you want to send only the documents that each spouse needs to sign to them, I'll show you how we can do that. So I'll uncheck spouse, and I'm on the signer's return, e-signer. So I'll uncheck spouse, and I just got a little template here. I Please select and review in the email and follow. So I'm just going to send to DocuSign. I'm just going to set up the fields here. Okay, so I've got this time an authorization and a T183, so I need the signature for the T183. And I want the the date and the time. I can scroll down further. And then this is the authorization form. And I'll need a signature for that. And then there's just the, that's the end of the information on this. And I can send it. Okay, so this is my DocuSign account I'm using. Let's go back here now. So I can go over to the other spouse and follow the same sort of procedure. Go to File, E-File, collect e-signatures, and now I'm on Spouse. So I don't want these to be sent to e-signer. And I don't want e-signer's documents to be sent to spouse. And then I've got the, the same template. It'll, it'll be the same template for each document you sign, you send from DocuSign, unless you change it. So let's send these up to DocuSign. And it's going to populate momentarily. So I've got spouse. And we'll do the same procedure here. Get the signing. The sign there. And then the date. And it's set up to do date and time. Then I'll scroll down to the authorization. And that should be it. And now I'll send it to spouse.
Okay, here now I have the both accounts set up. I've got them <laughs> open for each taxpayer. So let's open, see what happens here. If I scroll down, there's a review document. And I can follow the directions here, start. I get the signing, the signing here. And then there's no other directions at the left here. So that means I can finish. And I can just confirm here that this is spouses, signatures on spouse document. And then I can finish. And I don't want to log into an account and it tells me I'm done. Now I'm on the other spouse's email account and I'll just click and review. And they have the same sort of procedure they can follow. They can sign the document and then sign the authorization. There's no other steps they have to follow over at the left so they can finish. And don't need to lock another account and they're done. So that's completed. And if we go back to the first post we did, see they actually get an email saying that it's completed and it gives them a copy of the completed documents. I'm back in profile now and I can look at the e-signature dashboard. And I've got e-signer, which I confusingly put as spouse. And let's look at this document. I can download it to keep documents on file. But I've got the e-signer document. A signer signature and there's a date and time and then if I scroll down I can confirm that e signer has signed the authorization and it's signed. Well, let's go back up to the date and time and I can put that in profile on the T183. the time 1931 33 I'll just confirm that the warnings are gone now I can toggle over to the other spouse and I'll go to file And the dashboard. And this, let's see what we got here. Click on this. I've got spouse document. Spouse signature, time. And if I scroll down further, I can confirm there's a signature on the Authorization, so spouse's authorization has spouse's signature. So I'm going to go back up to the date and time here. I'll just put that information. And the T183 for the spouse. I 
And the links are gone. And then I can save the file to maintain those dates and times in the file. And now we've collected the signatures for both spouses, only sent the information that we want to each spouse. And got the signatures back and we've entered the information in the T183.